Dear Director Flogaitis, dear professors, colleagues, uh, dear participants, distinguished guests, good morning. I would like to extend a warm welcome uh, to all of you to our international conference on emergency powers in the light of COVID-19 pandemic and other global crises. The conference is co-organized by the University of Mishkols Faculty of Law, the European Public Law Organization, the Central European Association of, uh, for Comparative Law, the Regional Committee of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences uh, of Mishkols, and the Ferenc Madl Institute of Comparative Law in Budapest. Without their valuable support, it would be not possible to share our thoughts uh, about a topic in the framework of constitutional law that has become a significant part of our everyday life in such a friendly atmosphere provided by our host of um, the University of Mishkoz. It's a great honor for me to welcome you all to this conference, also on behalf of Professor Eda Siladi, di director of our institute, He's not able to attend our conference, uh, so we would like to apologize, but I bring you uh, his greetings and best wishes. If you would allow me, I would like to introduce our institute uh, in a few sentences. The Ferenc Madl Institute of Comparative Law was founded by the Hungarian government on the 1st of June uh, 2019 as a research institute uh, under the direction of the Minister of Justice with original research topics and projects. The institute was built on the following main pillars. Support for the government with comparative legal studies in preparing new regulations. Regular analysis uh, of the decisions of the international courts and national constitutional courts. Finding a separate original research character on the basis of the special research topics and interests of our colleagues coming from different fields of their respective uh, legal professions, such as university professors, legal experts with essential governmental or practical experience. And last but not least, uh, a strengthened Central European legal scholarly community and knowledge base over the long term. At our conference, we will deal with the constitutional law of several countries in our wider region, with a focus on the regulations of emergency powers, as the legal answers which have emerged from the crisis of the pandemic. I hope you will enjoy the lectures and your stay in these wonderful surroundings. First of all, I would like to ask Professor Chila Chak, the Dean of the Faculty of Law, and among many other important functions, Director of the Institute of Private Law of the University of Mishkots, member of the Deak Ferenc Doctoral School, member and scientific secretary of the Regional Committee of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences of Mishkots, our host, to hold her opening address. You have the floor, Chile. Thank you. Shortly. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear professors, uh, dear colleagues, uh, dear students, it is uh, a great pleasure for me uh, to open uh, today's conference. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I would like to, uh, to thank uh, the Ferenc Madl Institute of uh, Comparative Law and uh, the APLO uh, this, uh, <coughs> for this uh, uh, its support. Uh, this support uh, is um, partly uh, financial and uh, partly intellectual. It is great pleasure for me uh, that um, a lecturer of the Faculty of Law of the University of Mishkolc uh, is uh, uh, participated uh, in research on emergency powers. In addition to research uh, uh, from the uh, Institute uh, uh, and uh, Faculty, for the, uh, uh, foreign uh, professors uh, is, uh, uh, have also been involved in research. And uh, I would like to uh, take uh, this opportunity uh, welcome to them, uh, welcome them. The pandemic has created uh, new forms 
and uh, opportunities uh, for the use of emergency powers, which are still relevant today in times for energy crisis. Research uh, on this topic is uh, therefore timely, very important and uh, uh, very relevant uh, for the future also. I wish you every success uh, on this work, on this conference. I hope uh, during uh, uh, your time in Miskolc, you have the opportunity to visit on 100 uh, of the university campus and uh, the size uh, of the city of Miskolc. I wish you a pleasant stay in Miskolc. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Dean, to Professor Chuck. Our next speaker is an acknowledged professor and researcher of administrative law, the director of the European Public Law Organization and president of its board of directors, professor of administrative law uh, at the University of Athens, former president of the United Nations Administrative Tribunal, former caretaker alternate minister for foreign affairs and caretaker minister of the interior in Greece. Among other important legal and scientific positions, Dr. Honoris Causa of several universities in Europe. Dear Professor Flogaitis, uh, we are very glad uh, that you have accepted our invitation and we are looking forward to hearing your opening address. Thank you very much, uh, dear uh, Deputy Director of the Ferenc uh, Madl Institute for Comparative Law, dear Gabor, and uh, uh, dear Dean of the Faculty uh, of Law, uh, friends, students, colleagues. Uh, it is uh, the honor is of the EPLO uh, to uh, be proposed uh, to um, figure as uh, co-organizer of this uh, uh, important uh, meeting. And the meeting is important because uh, the university and the institute which uh, are hosting us are important, but also because the subject is uh, important. And the subject is important because it uh, reminds us uh, that we have to rethink about uh, the state, the public powers, and uh, the uh, public powers and the importance of the public powers uh, is uh, better understood in times of crisis. Actually, before uh, the... Uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis, and for about 30 years, uh, we were full of uh, teaching from uh, the economists and social scientists that uh, the state is uh, something similar with uh, a private enterprise. Uh, the state has clients, and the state uh, uh, can afford to uh, cover expenses if the state has the money. Uh, to cover uh, the expenses which it needs to uh, uh, to pay. And if uh, the state does not have the money, then uh, the services will not be provided. That uh, the public service as the, uh, the core of the reason of existing of the state is something for the past but not for the modern times. And uh, with uh, COVID, the states, one after the other, uh, the state leaders, uh, took the floor and said, uh, we need to do this and that. We will do it, first because we need to preserve the health of our uh, people because something unknown to us is coming, and we don't know uh, what sacrifices will be needed in the future. 
And secondly, if we don't have the money to do the job, then we have to find the money no matter what. I remember, and I like uh, to uh, cite this uh, because it was very characteristic, the first uh, time uh, 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 President Macron uh, took the floor to address his uh, nation, and he said that uh, exactly that. We have something which is coming, it is unknown. We don't know if our health system can uh, address the problem. We don't know how to uh, regulate our economy. We have to see it day by day uh, and uh, not destroy uh, the country, uh, in especially in times of pandemic. And he said that uh, if we don't have the money, we need to find them. And Europe, he said, should help for that. Actually, because of that, uh, and the uh, uh, Europe found the way to borrow money uh, in, in, in such a way that all the countries come in a solidarity to s support the future payment back of the loan. So we have more Europe, it means. This means after what happened. So the, the issue is important, and uh, I'm sure that uh, everyone who is around uh, this table, uh, experts, professors, students will uh, contribute to a better understanding uh, of uh, uh, what uh, the emergency powers in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic and other global crisis experience uh, mean and uh, what uh, the changes uh, in our understanding of public law um, uh, will, uh, uh, will be. The EPLO is very proud of being here, as I said, and, but actually not because I am here, but uh, because uh, uh, Professor Mateo Nies is here uh, who is the expert of uh, our organization uh, in the field, uh, director of uh, the um, Institute for Global Health Emergencies Response, uh, an institute which is based in Rome. It's the first institute of the EPLO which was uh, established in our new additional premises in uh, Rome, thanks to the uh, Italian government. We have now an office, uh, an operating office uh, in Rome, apart from Athens and uh, Lisbon. Hopefully one day uh, in uh, Budapest or here. Eh? <laughs> anyway, so you have um, the right person here to discuss with you, and I will do my best to follow. Thank you very much. All good wishes.